Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel Travel with Siri. <laughs> As I speak to you today, my voice may sound a bit different because uh, I'm down with fever and cold for the past two days. And as you may already know, it, these times when we all feel a bit paranoid and take COVID tests immediately whenever we have cold symptoms. So I took an ART test at home, which showed negative and that was a relief actually. While growing up, my parents always used to apply hair oil to me whenever I was sick. It's a tradition I still follow and I have been using coconut hair oil for its calming and relaxing properties. However, the focus of this video is not on hair oils or any promotional content. But in today's video, I wanted to show you all this cute coco coir planting pots. Actually, I have been selected to participate in the East Coast Green Ambassador program because of my passion for textile upcycling and sustainability. This program is designed to train and support individuals who are committed to promoting eco-friendly practices in their communities. I'll be sharing more details about this program in my upcoming vlogs as I'm still in the training period. So in the East Coast Green Ambassador program, each participant was given a cocoa coir pot, some oil and sunflower seeds to grow microgreens as part of the training. Singapore is making efforts towards sustainability by encouraging people to grow their own veggies. These cute cocoa coir pots are made from coconut husks and are an excellent example of upcycling. Not only are they aesthetically pleasing, but they are also eco-friendly and biodegradable. It's been a week since I sowed the seeds and they have already sprouted. I'll show the sprouted plants later in this video. They look so fresh and organic. I tried with only few seeds to check if they germinate properly. Maybe in the next batch I will sow the rest of the seeds. While using the coco coir pot, I found that I only needed to water the seeds once every two days since the coco coir was holding enough moisture to support their growth. So rather than using plastic pots for starting seeds, individuals who have interest in gardening may opt for these adorable pots. After two weeks, once they are fully grown, we can use these microgreens in our salads. The microgreens are a great source of vitamins and minerals and are known to have more nutrients than mature plants. Microgreens are also rich in antioxidants and are beneficial for our overall health. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.